welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are all well my name is chloe if you're just stumbling across hello i do lifestyle beauty fashion vlogs the lot and i thought today was the day that i'm going to finally give you a beauty video and it's all about spring makeup it is a sunny day here it is fantastic we are feeling the spring vibes and i really wanted to bring you this kind of glowy bronze makeup look. So if you love the same type of makeup that I like, which is nothing too fussy, but you still love a polished makeup look, bronzy, glowy, then this is the video for you. I feel like I've been meaning to give you guys a good beauty video for so long. So I'm so glad that we finally get the chance. The sun is shining, the vibes are high, and I am so excited to bring you this beauty video where I can just talk you through all my favorite new products that I've got on my makeup bag, my beauty secrets, and the whole thing. Basically, face, eyes, lips, everything. So yay let's do it first iced coffee of the season it has finally arrived guys and it has been a long winter this is the best sound in the world springtime is the perfect time to have a look into your makeup bag what's not working what's new what do you want to test out what do you want to throw strip everything back and start again warning i'm going to show you my makeup brushes and my makeup bag okay so good luck and this is my brushes and I'll be completely real with you guys I was gonna give all of this a clean and put them in two separate bags and I thought no let's just be real this is me they're gross but they're very functional I am going to moisturize I've been using the Bobbi Brown vitamin and rich face base for years I mean I think since 2018 maybe I absolutely love it it is an expensive product but I think it is the best moisturizer primer if you've got very dry skin like I do. Oh, it smells so good. I actually warm up all skincare um, with my fingers. I just feel like it applies better rather than just like dispersing it straight into one place. And I'll literally just swipe and kind of like pat it all in. It's glorious. But now we're gonna go on to brows. I'm gonna wait, whenever you do your skincare, wait a little bit because no matter what eyebrow product you have, if it's going on skincare, it's not gonna stick, it's not gonna um, like apply. So let's give it a minute, let the skincare sink in, and then we're gonna go in with the eyebrow products. This is a bit close and intense, but I've just done my brows, and you can see, nothing on this one, so I'll do that one with you. And then I've got my brow done here. So I do tend to make them a lot more full, kind of a bit of that laminated effect. Yeah, I give it a bit more of like a laminated effect here, but still with the arch. I'm in between laminations at the minute and tint. They actually do need done, but this is how my brow lady does them. So I'm just trying to like copy hers. This is what I use. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. It is this like gel-like texture and it really helps to kind of stick and and hold all your brow hairs in place. I'll do it with you on camera, and this is my e.l.f. brush. And basically, what you're doing is you're just placing the glue on and slowly but surely pulling all the brow hairs up. And this look isn't for everyone, by the way. I totally am aware. I think it really helps to kind of open up my eyes a bit. And I actually asked on TikTok the other day about some brow pencils that I feel like would work because sometimes I find if you're using like a gel or a wax on your brows, it's really hard to find a pencil that will actually work on top of it. And I got recommended these two from NYX. It's a Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen and the NYX Brow Pencil. I feel like I'm still not 100% sure on how I feel about these two, if I'm completely honest. I actually prefer the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. You just gotta make sure that the wax is actually dry first. But as you can see with my brows, they just need to be filled in slightly. I'm a little bit sparse around here. What I do is I actually just take the pencil and I just start filling it in and I'm constantly trying to look between my two brows to make them as symmetrical as possible. They should look a little something like that. The amount of time I spent on my brows is a joke. Hard part is out the way. Let's go on to the complexion. And I feel like when it comes to the base, that is what the spring summer is all about. What I've been using, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Filter. I've used this for years. I also love the e.l.f. Halo Glow as well. And I use this in the shade four currently. I used to use three, but four is my kind of more spring summer shade. So I'll literally just swipe this on and I wear this underneath my foundation because it just really helps 
to keep your foundation one not settling in on like any fine lines but also it gives it this like beautiful luminosity like underneath which i love i'll just go on with any old brush this is my spectrum b02 brush and i love this brush because it really helps me just like beat the product into my face you can see actually the texture of the product here a little bit better how easily it melts into the skin and it's just so gorgeous i love this product foundation wise this has been my secret weapon recently it is the luminous silk giorgio omani and i use the shade 5.75 i find the shade raging for this the most difficult thing i mean i thought pythagoras at school was hard that is nothing compared to shade matching yourself with this foundation okay i don't know what it is it is so hard if you can get it to store i would recommend i think i bought about three bottles before i found my shade it feels so light weight and i'm barely touching it and it pr pretty much blends on its own this is the one product that i would say is very much worth the hype again concealer for me is a difficult one in the spring summer because when it comes to winter i'm all about coverage i'm all about um powder and setting and keeping it in place but spring summer i've been opting for kind of thin light layers i remember when i was getting my makeup done um, BB Pro Amy from Bobbi Brown, she was talking to me about thin light layers and the importance of correcting. So I've actually picked out my corrector from Beauty Pie. This is the super luminous one and I love this one. It's a very creamy texture. Let me just show you. It's a very creamy texture here, very similar to the glossy stretch. So I use this to correct and this is Beauty Pie. So if you're a Beauty Pie member, make sure you pick this up because it's so incredible. And then also on my wedding day, this was the concealer that was used. It is the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. So I've just been obsessed with the idea of color correcting and then using this full coverage concealer on top but in very light layers and not using any powder and for some reason it just it works let me zoom you in and show you this is how the corrector sits on and i really focus it kind of in the inner corner here this is where a lot of my darkness is so i will focus it here and with the concealer i'll just pop a little bit again kind of closer to the inner corner because that's where i'm going to need most of my coverage from and i'll just gently buff and tap and melt the two products in together and it gives me this like super luminous very light under eye which i personally love like that's my absolute favorite under eye bit of brightness and i always drag it around my nose because i get so much redness and you can see the difference is huge when it comes to my under eyes <laughs> this like lifted luminous juicy looking under eye this is the giorgio armani luminous silk bronzing powder i believe this is brand new and it's in the shade 110 oh my gosh this stuff this stuff is incredible this is the color of the bronzer i just think it's so perfect and it's got tiny flecks of gold throughout it and it's so funny because when i first used this i've had a lot of bronzers recently that are quite sheer and you have to work to build this is incredibly pigmented i originally just went poof and there was this gigantic mark of instant tan and i panicked but the one thing I will say about this, although she's very pigmented, going with a light hand, she blends like a dream. She's my ultimate favorite bronzer. I am obsessed with this one. And I feel like any spring, summer, I'm always in the hunt for the new bronzers. What's trending? What's hot? What's everyone talking about? To me, this is such a win. But do you see what I mean? I literally did the smallest taps there and you've got pigment, you've got powder. So I feel like with this one, if you're a bit brush heavy like me, really be careful when you go in because it does blend like a dream that like you can see there. That is so seamless and beautiful, but I did the lightest touch. But that is the bronzer. I'm not going to go overkill with any cream bronzers or anything like that because I do find some cream bronzers are perfect and some really slip off your face within two seconds. So for me this year, spring, summer, I'm going back to a powder bronzer. But that's all we're going to do bronzing wise, but you can see it really is the most like glowy gorgeous bronze ever i just chef's kiss i also got sent recently it is the dior rosy glow bronzed glow and this is a blusher i would never go for because it looks quite deep in the packaging you can see the embossing just there it's so pretty so you can kind of know what i mean when i'm like I wouldn't pick this as a blush because I'd be like, I don't know how that would look. I feel like Iconic London do really good makeup brushes. And again, I'm just going in quite light-handed. And we're just gonna 
but you see what I mean but it almost gives you that like rosy I'm a little bit sun-kissed kind of look on top of the bronzer which I love I think it's so beautiful and it really just like we have no highlight on look how glowy and juicy that cheek looks mm. my problem is I get carried away with blush because I could just go on and on with the blush I think this is just such a stunning rosy blushy bronzy look and a color I wouldn't normally go for so thank you Dior for sending me that one and pushing me out of my comfort zone if we're going in with all of this glow I feel like we need to go in with a cream glow it's only fair this is from Pearl Beauty it is a small independent brand founded by a female she is incredible she's a really good creator and this let me zoom you in it's so good as a highlight this is the shade Just Too Glazed, and as you can see, I've used this a lot. I absolutely love this product. Perfection, and it is a cream highlight that doesn't lift any makeup off your cheeks. Just melts in and looks like such a seamless glow. It's perfect. But this is my dream spring summer base right now it is blushy it is bronzy glowy i love it we're gonna do the lip and now the lip is the most sensational bit and there's a secret product on here the three products we have here is the iconic london fuller pout lip liner in unbothered as well as the charlotte tilbury bitch perfect lipstick really love the shade i feel like a peachy nude and then this is the new product I can't even show you too much about it, but it's from Bobbi Brown and it's a lip gloss that they're launching and it's what I wore on my wedding day and it's incredible. This lip liner is like that 90s brown, 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 that 90s brown nude, which I love. Just find the iconic London ones the most creamy. My dog is now having the world's biggest treat and is making the most amount of noise you've ever heard. So again, if you're hearing some weird like munching and crunching, it's a very hungry little baby in the corner. I always all oh, kind of fill in my lip with a lip liner as well. This really helps like the longevity of your lipstick as well. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. I just love the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in B-I-T-C-H. Perfect. I just kind of pat this in. I prefer to pat my lipsticks rather than um, like give them a swipe on. I feel like it just the application just looks a bit more seamless. Oh it is the perfect peachy nude. I love this lip combo. This whole look is giving spring. It's giving fresh. It's giving new. It's giving sun and then the one product i'm really scared to use in front of you guys but look at this mm -hmm. one thing i would say about this gloss is it's almost like a lip gloss oil combo it is so nourishing so hydrating it doesn't stay on long is what i would say but oh, it's like that perfect touch of pink it's like a little pink addition that just really helps to bring your lips to life and it's like juicy glossy plump voluptuous i'm giving you all the words here because i really love this lip combo but you see i get quite shiny around my chin around here and on my forehead now i want to keep that shine but just not as much and this is the hourglass ambient light powders if you've never tried these oh my gosh this is the diffused light and it is such a beautiful powder I'll show you do you see what I mean? It gives it like blurring without looking cakey. And you're still getting a little bit of glow through, but it's like the right kind of glow. Can never go wrong with hourglass in my humble opinion. So I don't actually wear that much products on my eyes during spring summer, but I have been enjoying using the same kind of blushy bronzer that I have used on my cheeks and kind of tying that in with my eyes just to create a full monochromatic monochromatic look isn't that just so beautiful this is what i mean i just feel like this ties the whole look in together without it being like too try hard with uh eyeshadow by the way as soon as you think you're done go in again and blend some more because it's the one thing that can look unblended so quickly i'm gonna keep you zoomed in because we've only got two more products left and i have used this for years i'm such an og of this this is the Satin Kajal Liner Eyeliner in the shade Bronze from Victoria Beckham. This is expensive, but I've never seen anything in this shade, and I just think it's so beautiful. It's giving you a bit of definition, but not like a thick liner, and I don't go right across. I'll just kind of go in the outer corner. Let me show you. So I'll literally just go like this, and then I take the other end, and I'll just do a little bit of this. You just got to work quite quickly 
any kind of like a gel pencil you want to make sure that you blend it out pretty quick but it's more just like a hint that something is there like it really is a beautiful eyeliner and it is just so subtle you can see the difference there sensational these eyelash curlers are tweezerman and i think they're really good and eyelash curlers were something i thought like what any product would like any eyelash curler would do the same thing i was wrong i can't remember what i picked up but it wasn't very good um and these tweezerman ones are very good i haven't even taken the security tag off this this is the maybelline lash sensational i absolutely love this mascara and we'll always go back to her i think she's really good a very affordable mascara too especially because mascaras only last like four months i literally love applying mascara but i actually hate wearing mascara like i hate the feeling of mascara on but it is the one product that you just can't skip i just think it makes such a huge difference um i love the look of it so much and applying it is so satisfying but this is so pretty if you do feel like you get oily lids in the summer as well by the way guys um waterproof mascara is going to be your bff and how could i forget to not tell you about this product this is the revolution eyeliner and it is in their nude shade i wonder if it tells me just nude and this makes my eyes look so much more awake so much more like healthy but this is the final makeup look i absolutely love how this looks i feel like it's very springtime it's very glowy very bronzy there's been a few things that i have altered in my makeup bag compared to winter time so again i strongly advise you to do that have a really good clear out of your makeup products there's probably a few makeup products in there as well that might need to be thrown out anyway expiry wise so have a look at the dates on your makeup products as well but yeah i just love this makeup look so much i feel like it's nice and polished it's the perfect makeup look for every day if you've got more than like your usual 10 minutes i just love how this turns out and it lasts really well and it's very comfortable to wear on all weather but i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video if you've got any questions at all about any of the products the applications or any beauty video requests please let me know in the comments below also if you've got any recommendations especially when it comes to the brows i'm struggling with brows at the minute i would love your recommendations on that as well all of your support as always each week is greatly appreciated if you haven't subscribed already please do and i will see you guys next week so have a great week until then bye